Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist and today we're exposing some of the biggest dental scams that have been floating around online. There's a whole lot of toothy scams and dental myths out there, so let's talk about the top three. Scam number one, oil pooling replaces brushing and flossing. That statement is a scam. You are getting scammed if someone is telling you this because they are not giving you all of the information. So although yes, oil pooling comes from ancient medicine and may have some benefits to it, there are a few small studies that suggest that it can reduce bacteria, freshen breath, and even help with dry mouth. What you do is swish with coconut oil in your mouth for 20 minutes before spitting it out. Some people swear by it, but here's the thing. Can oil pooling actually replace brushing and flossing? No, absolutely not. Just like mouthwash can't replace place brushing and flossing. Neither can oil. Swishing with a liquid will not properly remove plaque bacteria that is stuck on or between your teeth. You need that mechanical removal with your toothbrush and floss. Now, I've made a few videos breaking down the pros and cons of oil pooling, which I'll link below, but for today's video, I just wanted to focus on the fact that while you can oil pull in addition to your brushing and flossing routine, you absolutely cannot replace brushing and flossing with it. Anyone who tells you that is scamming you. Some influencers online claim that oil pulling alone cured their cavities, but here's the truth. These are anecdotal total stories, not evidence-based conclusions. We rely on decades of peer-reviewed research in healthcare, not word of mouth, viral comments, or the loudest TikTok creator. You don't know what they are saying is true. How could they prove it? Overall, again, I'm not against oil pulling. If you enjoy doing it, that's fine. But I would never tell someone who's not doing it to start since there's not much research showing its effectiveness. And again, nobody should ever be replacing brushing, flossing, or seeing your dentist regularly with coconut oil pulling. That's a scam. Scam number two, nanohydroxyapatite toothpaste is better than fluoride toothpaste. While yes, the science behind nanohydroxyapatite is promising, as long as it contains 10% nano-sized rod-shaped particles, not cheaper micro-sized particles or anything like that, since they don't work the same way. And that's where the scam comes in, and why I'm hesitant to recommend nanohydroxyapatite instead of fluoride. First off, fluoride works better in acidic environments, which is exactly where cavities form. Fluoride in the form of fluorapatite doesn't dissolve until a pH of 4.5. Hydroxyapatite, it starts to dissolve at pH 5.5. That's a big difference when you're trying to protect your teeth in acidic conditions. And second, nanohydroxyapatite toothpaste lacks regulation. Right now in the US, there's no system in place to verify that your nanohydroxyapatite toothpaste actually contains what it claims. That's not the case with fluoride. Fluoride toothpaste is regulated. What it says on the label is what's inside. That's why I feel confident recommending it to patients so they're not buying a scammy product. Because with nanohydroxyapatite brands, let's be honest, most of them don't even disclose the percentage of nanohydroxyapatite because they don't want you to know there's not enough in there. Again, it needs to be at least 10% according to the research. And even if they do disclose, they can claim anything they want about their products without needing to prove their claims are true. This is due to no regulatory oversight in the US for non-fluoride toothpaste. So it's hard to know which ones are scams and which ones aren't without regulatory approval. I'm gonna call this one a scam. And lastly, number three, DIY whitening hacks are better than teeth whitening strips. This one makes me cringe every time I see it online. Stuff like rubbing lemon slices on your teeth, scrubbing with strawberries, banana peels, oranges, or even charcoal, even using magic erasers on your teeth? Please don't. Don't use that man on your teeth. A magic eraser? Let me be clear. Tooth enamel doesn't grow back. Once it's gone, it's gone. And these DIY methods are either way too abrasive and they etch away layers of your enamel, think charcoal, or they are super acidic, think lemons, and they are literally giving you enamel erosion which leads to cavities. So if you want to whiten your teeth, there are a few safe and effective methods such as whitening strips with peroxide, semi-custom trays with peroxide, custom trays from your dentist, and professional in-office whitening. Now, even if you're using a peroxide-based whitening product, even then, read the directions. Don't overuse, and please don't swish straight peroxide from the bottle. This can lead to mouth ulcers and black hairy tongue. Yes, that's a real condition. Don't Google it while eating. But when the peroxide is specifically formulated into whitening products and you follow the label directions, not overusing it, etc., then it's all good. But yeah, overall, DIY whitening with charcoal, oranges, what have you, all that stuff can seriously damage your teeth and gums because they are scams. So the safe route is to stick with peroxide-based products that are designed and tested for whitening. If you're looking for good ones, I've linked a few safe options below and always talk with your individual dentist and or dental hygienist before whitening your teeth. In conclusion, I'm not here to shame anyone who fell for any of these scams. If you started oil pulling instead of brushing and you started to get gingivitis or you used nanohydroxyapatite toothpaste and found yourself starting to get cavities, if you were trying new things for your oral health, I love that people wanna take care of their teeth and try new things, but I do think we need to be careful when trends go viral and people start believing claims without understanding the science 
behind them. We know better now, right? So my advice is don't try to replace your 90% oral care foundation with a 1% trend. Brush twice a day, floss once a day, visit your dentist regularly. That's your 90%. Get that down first. Don't be looking for immediate results, scammy products, anything that says the secret to a white smile. There's no secret. There's no shortcuts. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. With anything, consistency matters. And if you need help building a solid home care routine, a consistent routine at home, check out my free oral care guide. I'll link it below. It's a step-by-step -step action plan with brushing, flossing, and tongue cleaning tutorials so you can be confident in your technique. I also have whitening product recommendations linked below as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if you did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.